In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mountain Lion on an unsupported Intel Mac using the Mac Post Factor method. Now, I did upload a video uh, a while ago showing you how to do this using the ML Post Factor method, and uh, it worked pretty well. However, the M Mac Post Factor method works even better than ML Post Factor because it doesn't require any plist modifications and um, it works it's a whole lot easier to install and it works a whole lot better so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to install it so the first thing you're gonna need to do is either um, install Lion on your target Mac or use another Mac that's already running Lion or newer um, and if you're using another Mac you can uh, use a USB drive to make the installer on or if you're using the target Mac you can simply create the installer on a second partition on the hard drive. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do is switch to my main machine, uh, my custom built Hackintosh, and show you the steps to prepare a USB drive on there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to that and resume the video once I'm uh, on the main machine. Alright, so I'm now on my main machine and let me just go ahead and show you what you're going to need before you begin. Now, whether you're on your target machine or a different machine, uh, you will need the exact same things. So, uh, first thing you're going to need is the actual Mac Post Factor application. As you can see, I have a copy of it right here. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing you're going to need. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is a copy of Mountain Lion in your Applications folder. As you can see, I have one right here. Um, it must be the Mac App Store version of it. Uh, it should be about 4.4 gigs, as you can see mine is right there. And yeah, that is the two things you're going to need. Now, you're also going to need a blank partition. Um, this is the partition I'm going to use. I'm about to format it in a minute. But uh, yeah, you'll need a blank partition, either on an external drive or a partition on your internal drive if you're on the target machine. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and open Disk Utility and format it. So, just go ahead and erase it. Just name it whatever you want. Mac Post Factor is what I'm going to name mine. Alright, so once that's done formatting, you can go ahead and open the Mac Post Factor application. Now, as you may notice, it does say it supports running 10.8 Mountain Lion, 10.9 Mavericks, and 10.10 .10 Yosemite on unsupported Macs. But um, if you were to use 10.9 or 10.10, it would install and run okay. However, you would get no graphics acceleration unless you installed it on a Mac Pro with upgraded graphics because 10.9 and 10.10 uh, will not load the texts needed for either GMA 950 graphics, um, GMA X3100 graphics, ATI Radon X1600 graphics, or NVIDIA GeForce 7300 or 7600 GT graphics. So. Um, you must use 10.8 if you want graphics acceleration on something other than a Mac Pro without upgraded graphics. So this guide is pretty much only for 10.8 because OS 10 without graphics acceleration is pretty much unusable. So let's just go ahead and continue here. It will say verifying for a minute. Now, if you used a partition on your main hard drive, you would select on this Mac and select it here. As you can see, my two internal partitions uh, are detected in it. And if you're using an external drive like I am, you'll click on external drive and select the drive you just formatted, uh, or whatever partition or drive you intend to make the OS X installer on. So I'm using the uh, Mac Post Factor drive as I uh, formatted earlier. Now then you go up here and select which version of OS X you want to put on the drive. Now in this case I'm going to select Mountain Lion. Now, as you can see Mavericks is actually not clickable because I don't have a Mavericks installer in my applications folder. Yosemite is however because I do have the uh, OS X Yosemite installer right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Mountain Lion. 
uh, click install and press yes and now what you're going to want to do is select uh, which type of computer you're installing it on. Now the Mac Pro 3,1 is the mid or late 2007 model that has GMA X3100 graphics and the MacBook 4.1 is the same machine just a later revision of it. It also has GMA X3100 graphics and yeah you if you have a MacBook with GMA X3100 graphics you're gonna want to select this option now since I'm gonna be installing this on a machine that has GMA 950 graphics a original Mac mini um, or an original Intel Mac mini I'm just gonna go ahead and select other you would also select other if you're installing it on a GMA or a ATI Radon X 1600 based iMac or MacBook Pro and a, G, a uh, NVIDIA GeForce 7300 or 7600 GT based 24 inch polycarbonate iMac. So I'm just going to go ahead and select other and it will begin to create the install drive. When it asks you, type in your password. And basically from here it'll just create the drive and when it's done you'll go ahead and boot on your uh, target Mac so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video here and resume it once the uh, preparation has completed alright so as you can see the installation has succeeded so now all you need to do is press exit Mac post factor eject uh, the drive that you installed it to and go ahead and plug it into your target Mac and boot from it so I'm just gonna go ahead and resume the video and we will proceed with those steps and yeah then we should be good to go alright so now I've got the machine hooked up and the uh, Mac post factor drive I just made uh, plugged in so now what you're gonna want to do is turn on the machine while holding down the option key on the keyboard so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so as you can see, it sees the Mac Post Factor Drive right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and press Enter to boot from it. So since it will take a little bit of time to boot, I'll just go ahead and pause the video here and resume it once the machine has booted. Alright, so it has just finished booting off the Mac Post Factor Drive. So what you want to do now is just select your language and click continue. And now go up to utilities and select disk utility. Now just select your hard drive. Go over, go over to erase and go ahead and erase it now since I actually have an install on this drive already I'm not gonna uh, erase it but um, yeah that's pretty much all you're gonna need to do and then just close it and continue with the installation as normal and basically just select your drive and just click install and it will just install from there and once it has installed you can just reboot and it will fully boot up into OS 10 so I'm going to go ahead and boot into my OS 10 install and then I'm going to show you how to install the 10.8.5 update and any security update that you might need. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot into my install and resume the video once it's rebooted. Alright, so as you can see it has booted up. Now if you are installing this on a GMA 950 based Mac, it will ask you on first boot if you want to disable the dock glass effect and just select yes on that because if you don't you'll have this weird looking black dock down here and it just doesn't look quite right if you do disable the glass effect it will look normal but will not reflect any windows as I'll show you you can see that uh, the window is not uh, reflective so yeah um so let's go ahead into about this Mac Uh, you can see that it is detected as a two, late 2006 Mac Mini. Um, 
and it has GMA 950 graphics with 64 megs of video memory. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is how to install the 1085 update or any other security update that may be available. Now at this time there is a security update available for Mountain Lion that I haven't installed on this machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that and show you what to do because the process for any security updates or the 1085 update is exactly the same. So once it sees the update, I'll go ahead and install it. So let's go down. Now basically this method or you'll have to do this with any update that says a restart required and that's basically only security updates. So that's why I say that. I'm going to go ahead and click update on that. It will download and once it has downloaded and installed, I'll resume the video to show you what to do uh, when it's installed. So I'll resume the video once it's done. Alright, so the update has just finished installing and the machine is now rebooting. Now once it reboots, I'll show you what to do. Now keep in mind, unlike in my post factor, you will not need your original install drive anymore at this point. So that's another thing that makes M or Mac Post Factor really nice. So once it reboots, I'll show you what to do. Now this is what will happen if you don't do what I'm about to tell you to do. So basically after you um, uh, install any updates, such as a security update or the 1085 update, you'll start to get this weird stuff happening. So you get like random flashing question marks, uh, this no symbol, and then it will start to boot into the recovery partition by itself. Now you can go ahead and select option, or press option as, as it boots up, and select the recovery partition and it will boot into it that way. and be a little bit easier, I guess, quicker. But uh, this will boot, this doesn't take too long to boot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the video running. Uh, as it boots up and uh, yeah once it boots I'll show you what to do alright so it appears like we're back in an installer but just go ahead and click the uh, continue button and that will say starting Mac Post Factor Services. And now you'll be into this OS 10 Utilities window. So what you're going to want to do now is select OS 10 Manager up there. Click Continue. And just select Rehack OS 10. Press OK. And it will do its job right here. And it'll take about a minute or so. So once this finishes, I will resume the video. Alright, so it has just finished. So now what you're going to want to do is select Reboot. And now the machine should boot back into your Mountain Lion install. So you can see that the Apple logo is now up and is booting correctly this time. So once it finishes booting, I will resume the video. Alright, so as you can see it has booted up successfully and has reloaded the App Store from when I updated. So if we go into the updates, it should no longer have that security update. Wait for it to check for updates. So, as you can see, it no longer has that security update. So, yeah, that is how to install mountain lion on an unsupported mac and make it work a whole lot better than ml post factor using mac post factor so yeah as you can see it just works perfectly fine um everything is detected and working properly sound wi-fi bluetooth everything works and all the updates install without any weird issues or no plist modifications needed so that is how to install mountain lion on unsupported Macs using Mac Post Factor. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.